How much does a Labradoodle cost? Do you want a dog that looks like a teddy bear come to life? What about one that's great with strangers, kids, and even other dogs? If so, you've probably heard about the extremely popular Labradoodle. And if not, you should really look into them, because they're perfect for pretty much any kind of dog lover. Labradoodles aren't just popular because of their cute appearance and good manners, however, as they also possess another coveted trait, a hypoallergenic, non-shedding coat. This fur they inherit from their poodle side makes sure you won't be sneezing all day from shedded fur or sweeping up after them all day. But you're probably thinking to yourself, how much is this dog going to set me back? Well, cost is always a tricky subject, but in this video we're going to break down just how much investment a Labradoodle is going to take, from the buying stage to the everyday ones. But make sure to stick around until the end of the video, as we will also share some ways that you can save some money long term. How much will it cost to get a Labradoodle from a breeder? First, let's take a second to go over the upfront cost. That is what you should expect to pay just to bring a Labradoodle home with you. If you're going the breeder route, which many people are these days, you should be prepared to pay a pretty penny. Labradoodles are expensive at the moment based on their reputation and their popularity. Basically, breeders are able to dictate a competitive price because they know so many people are willing to pay top dollar to secure their very own doodle. If you go this route and buy from a reputable dealer, you should expect to pay at least $1,500 but some breeders will charge up to $2,000 for a healthy Labradoodle pup. If you're picky and looking for a toy or micro-sized Labradoodle, you are unfortunately going to pay even more than that, we're afraid. Since it's harder to create these smaller sizes of Labradoodle, many go for $3,000 or more. On top of that, some of the smaller sizes of Labradoodle tend to have more health concerns than their bigger counterparts, and you may be paying more in medical expenses as well, something we will go into greater detail in just a little while. What about adopting? Of course, if you don't feel like buying from a breeder, or the price point is just more than you can justify, there is always the adoption route. Adoption fees for a Labradoodle are much more affordable, and you're also giving a loving doodle a fresh start, which can really feel good. All in all, it will only cost you between $100 and $500 to adopt a Labradoodle, but be warned, what you save in money, you may lose in time. Like we said earlier, Labradoodles are an extremely popular dog at the moment, and really throughout the last two decades or so, and this makes them much harder to find and adopt. This option can get really competitive, and there will no doubt be other people who equally want a dog and are jockeying to get it. If you are committed to this route, though, you'll have to stay active on the sites and Facebook pages of your local shelters, humane societies, and other avenues nearby. A hidden cost that people don't usually consider when adopting come from potential shots, vaccinations, and other medical procedures that may have been missed before. You also may not know a lot about the dog's past or what their ancestry is like, which makes it hard to know what to expect in terms of health concerns or aging problems. Overall, you may have to spend a bit more in the long run, but you will save a whole lot more up front going with adoption. What factors affect price? If you decide to buy a Labradoodle for your home, you should be aware just what goes into the process of deciding cost. Two of the most important ones, demand and the size of the dog, we've already touched on, but there are a lot more that will impact the buying process for you if you go with a breeder. One is coat color and type. Since a Labradoodle is a hybrid dog, it is going to inherit traits from both the Labrador Retriever side as well as the Poodle side. This means that the color your doodle comes out with may change how much you're going to have to pay for the dog, as rare coat colors are more coveted. Perhaps the more important variable here, though, is the type of coat your dog will inherit, as it isn't actually guaranteed that your Labradoodle will have a non-shedding hypoallergenic coat. If you're buying from a breeder, chances are the mix between Poodle and Lab favors the Poodle side, as this will make it more likely your dog will have the hair texture required so that your dog doesn't shed as much. Some other factors that will come into play are the reputation of the breeder, as well as the location they're in. Labradoodles in California are going to cost you a whole lot more than in, say, the Midwest, and that is definitely going to affect how much you pay in the end. Consistent Costs – Food, Toys, and Treats When plotting out a budget for your Labradoodle, you should take a long-view approach to things. 
These dogs live more than a decade, which means you're going to have to be in a stable place for at least a decade so that you can pay for what your animals need in order to stay happy and healthy. One of the most standard costs for a dog you're going to be constantly seeing pop up on your spending history is for food, toys, and treats. Labradoodles are big creatures, and they're going to need good food and plenty of it in order to remain their cheery, friendly selves. They're also pretty smart, too, and so you should expect to spend a decent amount on toys, puzzles, and other things to keep their minds occupied throughout the day. Other costs, like for dog bowls, treats, and other must-haves can add up quickly, but thankfully they tend to last for a long while before needing to be replaced. Grooming Grooming is a big deal for a Labradoodle, as their coat type demands it. These are dogs that will make you well acquainted with your groomer, and you should expect to visit them at least four times a year. You should also expect to brush your doodle once or twice a day at minimum, as otherwise their coat can get all tangled up. If this gets bad enough, it can cause matting, which will mean shaving your dog down completely in order to fix it. Overall grooming is an expensive but necessary cost that every Labradoodle owner knows very well by now. Healthcare. Labradoodles, especially those that come from a quality breeder, are healthy dogs, but that does not mean they don't need a solid veterinarian in their corner. A good vet is going to let you know whatever is going on with your doodle, as well as prepare you for issues that may be starting to form. On average, healthcare for a Labradoodle can range from $700 all the way to $2,000 plus each year, and it's a necessary expense if you want to make sure your dog lives a happy and unburdened life. Hip dysplasia is one of the most common issues that an aging Labradoodle will encounter, and it can be a very expensive procedure if it isn't caught soon enough. Training, boarding, or doggy daycare. If you're an active person, you may have to be away from home for extended periods of time, in which case it's best not to leave your pet at home. Doggy daycare or boarding is always a good option for when you can't be present for your dog, and it may cost you up to $700 a year depending on how often you require the service. Hiring a trainer or dog walker will also cost you some money, and so it's important you have an idea of how much time you think you can offer a dog before bringing one home to take care of. Bringing in strangers can get costly fast. How to cut down on costs. There are a few ways you can cut down on how much you're spending on your dog and some of them are way easier than you would think. For grooming expenses, try out the puppy cut, where they shave your dog down instead of just trimming up their look. You may miss out on the classic doodle look, but you won't have to pay for as many trips to the groomer. For daily costs like food, toys, and that sort of thing, you should really consider buying in bulk, as there are usually a lot of deals going on at various stores around you. Those are just a few, but if any of you dog owners have other money-saving tips, make sure to leave them in the comments below. While Labradoodles can be costly, so are dogs in general. Taking care of any living creature comes with a lot of variables, some of which you simply can't anticipate. But if you listened to our rundown, we feel confident that you are prepared for the overall financial investment surrounding a Labradoodle. We really hope you enjoyed this video half as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And if so, please make sure to leave a like as it helps us out a lot. Also, check out our channel for more Labradoodle, Golden Doodle, and General Dog videos. And subscribe to see more! We hope to catch you all again soon!